and I'm going to be filming my IMATS New York haul as well as a small Target haul with some things from FragranceNet, which I got from Amazon. So it's really a collective haul throughout the past two weeks. So I did go to New York the past Sunday, Sunday the 7th I believe it was, and I went to IMATS. I didn't get a chance to meet any of you because I didn't see any of you or I guess you didn't see me if you were there. But I did get a chance to meet Julie G and I will have a picture inserted here I think from my Instagram account, Hello Catherine XO. And this is the bag from iMats. It's not actually all full of iMats stuff. I do want to start with the Target stuff just because that's on top. So this is the bag from Target. And I did not get this at Target. I got this on Amazon because I couldn't find the Beauty Blender booth at iMats. But I did get two Beauty Blenders. And I haven't gotten a chance to use these yet just because I've only had them for a couple of days. But this is what they look like. They're just hot pink sponges for your makeup. From Target I got a coconut and almond milk, coconut milk and almond milk razor for dry skin. And this is by Slick and it's Intuition Pure Nourishment. And the razor looks like that. It came with an extra um, razor head because it has the shaving cream kind of around the razor. Um, I got two packets of makeup removing wipes, both from different brands. I got the Orle Fresh Effects Swipe Out Refreshing Makeup Removal Cloths. I've been using these for the past week so far and I really like them. I've already used the simple ones in the past and this is just the simple cleansing facial wipes and it's kind of skin and it's for sensitive skin. So that's a repurchase, just in case I didn't like the OLA ones. I got a perfume from Target. Now this is one of the smaller bottles. This is the 15 mil, and this is the Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift perfume. I've been using this for the past week also. I just put it back in the box so it would look pretty. But it's just um, a small bottle of Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck perfume. From the Hello Kitty section, which is really tiny. It's normally near the cosmetic section, and it's just a swivel organizer that goes like this when you have it out. And it says Hello Kitty here and it has two kitty cats on top and bottom. Um, I did get some new cosmetics and I got the Remmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in 001 Transparent. Not my favorite so far. I've been using it for the past week. It does not keep me matte. So I'm not sure if I'm applying it wrong or if it's just the moisturizer I'm using. But it's not my favorite. I also got the Clear Great Lash by Maybelline Clear Eyebrow Gel or Clear Mascara. And I haven't really used it too much. I've used it once so far. I got the Maybelline The Flash Clean, um, Clean Express Makeup Removing Lotion. And I have used this a little bit when my eyeliner got kind of wonky or messed up. And it was nice. It was nice with a Q-tip. Um, I also got the Master Duo by Eye Studio, And this is in 500 blackest lacquer and this is by Maybelline as well and it's quite nice it's not my favorite liquid liner but it is quite nice I got a baby lips and this is by Maybelline and it's in 10 peppermint and this is just a baby lips it's the green one it's clear I didn't want to get anything too crazy if I had never tried the product yet, but it has SPF 20 and it's quite nice. It's not something I would go too crazy over. I wasn't that impressed with it. I do like the Carré's lip butters a little bit more, but that's nice to throw on at school if you don't want any color on your lip. I got Goody um, Hair Ties. This is just the black one. And I believe the last makeup item I got from Target was the Remmel BB Cream, and this is a 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super makeup. Now this is not for people with dry skin. I've learned that because it does cling to dry patches on your skin. I have acne so I do get some dry spots. And this will cling to them so if you do have dry skin I would try to stay away from it. It is a nice BB cream. I'm wearing it today. But overall I wouldn't suggest it. I have the shade light and I believe there's three or four shades in this foundation or this BB cream. It does have a nice consistency. And on ASOS, um, it's available for $13. If you go to your local Target, it's $6. And what I got from FragranceNet or from Amazon is the Revlon Fire and Ice Perfume. I haven't tried it yet. I just kind of put it in the Target bag and waited to film this video all week. But it is a beautiful scent. I have smelled it, but I haven't actually worn it. 
and it has a gorgeous bottle. Now, um, 11th Gorgeous was talking about this, and it is a more mature scent. It is nice, though. Radiance, a seductive glow and ultra cool feel, a tantalizing blend of sheer florals, warm musk, and exotic citric notes. So that's what it said on the box, and I believe it was under $10, which I thought that was a great deal. I do believe that fragrance is discontinued, though. And then Fragrance Net gave me some samples. They gave me a comb and a mirror duo. And then they gave me um, Usher perfume or cologne. Um, a prescription youth Sk skin labs instant erased eye serum. And they gave me a code to use on my next order. And this I can give to everyone. And this is 15% off. So T Y C. 5P is the code. I will have that link down below in case any of you guys are interested in buying that perfume. You can get 15% off of it. So now on to IMAX. And I was only there for under three hours. I kind of got there late, but there wasn't too much I wanted to do there. It was quite hectic and a little scary because there were so many people there. But I will start with the moisturizer. And I've been using it for the past few days. And it's by Ember Elise. And it's nothing new. Most beauty gurus talk about it. And it is the Glat Cream Concentrate. And this is basically the, like, 24-hour cream or the 12-hour cream. And it is extremely moisturizing. I have used this in the past. I got a little sample in my birch box. But when I saw they were there, I just knew I should get this. And I believe this was $28. But if you bought two things from that booth, it was $50. I also got a stack by Naked Cosmetics. And this I knew was immediately on my list of places I wanted to check out would be when I ordered my tickets. I knew I wanted to stop at Naked. And I got the Ivory Stack. And this is the one x Barkage where Alicia always talks about. And it is the ivory colors. You really won't be able to tell on camera because they are iridescent colors. So there's like a white, a pink, a purple, a yellow, a green, and a blue. I haven't used this yet. It's still like wrapped in the um, cellophane around it to protect it from not loosening up. But that was $30. And if you bought two things from the booth, I believe it was $50. So you would save $10. I only wanted to get one stack. I also went to Beauty So Clean, which is one of my favorite cosmetic cleaning companies that make a, um, a brush cleanser, a cosmetic sanitizer, um, lip gloss sanitizer, lipstick. But the only thing I wanted to pick up at the moment was this, since I did just recently order the cosmetic sanitizer. But this is what I wanted to pick up because I'm almost out. And this this was $20 and I don't remember how much the original price is. I will have prices down below if any of you guys want to know how much I saved or how much the real product is if you buy it on your own without being at IMAS. And this is the Conditioning Brush Cleanser. And you don't have to wash this out. I normally do a deep cleaning and I don't not wash it out if that makes sense. But this is the 8.5 fluid ounce bottle. And then the last makeup item I picked up was from Estela. And this is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And this is in Intense Black. It's not in the right spot. I actually put it in the back instead of the front where it was originally supposed to be. Because I just wanted to look at the tip of it. And this is what it looks like. Um, Hello Kitty XO always talks about this product, so I figured I should try it out while I'm at IMAX, and I believe this was $17. And this is actually the first time I'm actually even swatching it, and that looks pretty awesome. It looks better than the Maybelline Master Drama line did. I can actually do a quick comparison in case any of you guys were wondering. I will do the thin side of the brush for the Master Drama. Master Drama might be a little bit darker, but as you can see, um, this is Master Drama. It's a little glossier. Or this is Master Drama, and that is Steel Us Day All Day. I do like pen applicators more. I did have a Mirabella eyeliner pen that I got in my Migram bag a really long time ago, or at least six months ago, or something like that. And I really like that product, but I haven't been able to repurchase it yet. The thing I got was an iMatch shirt, and this says iMatch. Um, international makeup trade show on the top and then on the back it says um, 2012 because I didn't look at the back at the year I should have got a 2013 show shirt but I kind of like this one a little bit more so it has a girl and it says IMATS World Tour Los Angeles New York London Vancouver Sydney and Toronto so 
this I got in a medium, so it would be nice to just hang out in and sleep in and stuff. And there wasn't that many shirts left. All the tank tops were sold out. Um, I believe most of the 2013 show shirts were sold out. And I'm planning to go out to IMATS next year if any of you guys are wondering. So that's it for my IMATS haul. I only bought like four makeup items at IMATS plus a t-shirt. Because there wasn't that many booths there that I wanted to go to. MAC wasn't there. Sigma wasn't there. There was a couple that weren't there that I wanted to go to. But overall, the experience was nice, and it was nice to meet Julie G, and that's it for my haul. If you guys have any questions about IMAS, leave them down below, and I will try to answer them. And I hope you guys have an awesome, amazing, fantastic day.
something you forgot you could I never thought it would just be you Looking at me, looking at you And I wish this wind would carry my words over to you